look at this weather this you won't find again when the summer goes away this weather is going to die out because it's going to snow and when it snows it's snowy it's cold and getting out like this is going to be very very difficult welcome back to another video by yours truly <laughs> Welcome back to Living Colors of Life. Today is a very sunny day and I thought why not make the video outside in the sun. Uh, basically speaking, today's video will target the audience who want to know the things they should do after arriving in Sweden. I have laid out some of the most important things that you must do and all of the things that I will be talking to you about are already mentioned in the PDF. In great detail so don't forget to look into the description section because that's where the PDF is now let's start off the first thing which you must do when you land in Sweden is get a sim card now where do I get a sim card from there will be shops like 7-eleven first Baron, and from these shops you can easily purchase a sim card now which operator should I go for you can go for any operator I use Convic, so all the examples that I'm going to give you will be based on Combic and uh, basically speaking the other operators provide the same services and the same packages so it doesn't really matter now when you go and ask for a sim card don't just randomly buy a sim card look for special packages that they have for example if you buy a sim card with a package which costs 99 Swedish crowns you will get 200 minutes of talk time and 2 gigabytes of internet if you buy a package worth 145 Swedish crowns, you will get a um, internet bandwidth of 4 to 5 gigabytes and your talk time will be absolutely free. So you can call to anyone in Sweden anytime you want, absolutely free. Uh, the packages that I talk, talked about are actually valid for one month only, so after one month you buy the packages again don't randomly buy a sim card and tell them okay fill in 100 crowns in it fill in 200 crowns in it it doesn't work like that even if it does it's a loss for you anyways so now that you have your sim card put it in your put it in your mobile phone and start talking next you need to purchase a travel card now what is a travel card in order to travel in Sweden for example if you want to use public transportation you need to have a travel card it's actually a card which uh, you can use to purchase tickets for your uh, travels so what are the transportation uh, ways in Sweden in general uh, in Sweden you have buses and trams and in Gothenburg where I live you have a lot of buses and a lot of trams and taxis as well but we are excluding taxis from this video if you want to buy a travel card you can always go to shops like Prisbyron or 7-eleven and ask them if they have it or not usually they always have it you can also if for example you are living in Gothenburg if you're moving here you can go to sales center of fast traffic they are the ones who are controlling the public transportation system here you can go to them and buy the card it's the same thing now you want to buy a card you went there you got it what now what are the packages what are the options now first of all you can buy a travel card which is pay to go or you can buy a travel card which is a monthly card or you can buy a seasonal card now what is pay to go pay to go is you put in some money in your card and then you use that card whenever you want to purchase a ticket 
how do you purchase a ticket when you go into the bus when you go into the tram you just use that card swipe it and some amount of money will be deducted from your card so if you have put in 100 crowns in Gothenburg for instance 27 crowns will be deducted after you swipe and that ticket will be valid for 90 minutes after 90 minutes you have to purchase a ticket again now this is a this is like pay to go card and what happens if you buy a monthly card now monthly card comes with different packages so look into the description uh, I have provided some links where you can see the packages and you will see that there are some packages which are more inclined towards students so if you purchase a card for if I'm not mistaken 300 crowns so, uh, that's a monthly card for students and you can use that card to travel anywhere in Gothenburg absolutely free so you pay 300 crowns once and you travel unlimited amount of, amount of times so these packages will vary always look into the links that I'll provide you guys with and check which packages you want to buy and purchase those things the travel card is very important because without the travel card it would be impossible to travel using trams and buses and usually if you travel without a ticket you get fined if you are charged in doing so so be very careful always abide by the rules and abide by the laws now that you have a sim card and a travel card what next this is the most important thing that you will ever do after coming to Sweden well you might have other things as well but this is this takes the cake you need to apply for your personal number but what is a personal number the personal number is a unique identifier which will uniquely identify you as a person amongst the population in Sweden so for example the amount of tax that you have paid and other important information will be attached with your personal number so it's like identifying you as a person and it's very very important you need a personal number for almost everything in Sweden if you want to apply for a job you must have a personal number if you want to buy a mobile phone with a uh, with a subscription from say Tre or Tele2 or something like that you need to have a personal number so it's very important you need the personal number for almost everything now where will I go and collect this personal number in order to do so you have to go to the tax agency office I have provided the links uh, down in the description they are known as Skatteverket and when you go there you need to always have your passport with you and your residence permit with you and after having these things go there and uh, ask them that you want to apply for a personal number you will have to sign some of the documents and fill out some of the forms and within one week you will get your personal number now how will you get your personal number it will come to you by post so do keep in mind that you have a valid address in Sweden so it is very important that you have an address because that address will be used to send the post to you uh, at your home so it's, a, it's, it's very important to have an address. So usually it takes one week for the personal number to arrive, but it may take a little longer, but they will always notify you uh, by a, a SMS that your personal number will be arriving this day or that day or next week or, and vice versa. So you see why I asked you to purchase the SIM before? That's why. So once you have your personal number, what next? now you need to apply for your Swedish ID card now what is the Swedish ID card again this ID card will recognize will help people recognize you as a person living in Sweden so it's like an identification card that you can use to identify yourself people usually use it when they want to buy uh, electronics or whether they want to uh, collect packages from post so there are many 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 options where you can actually use a Swedish ID card you need a Swedish ID card when you are applying for jobs and in general you need it for almost everything another good example would be that when you go to open a bank account they will always ask you for your Swedish ID card uh, now you may ask me then what's the use of the personal number where well the personal number has its own use but the Swedish ID card and the personal number they are kind of attached 
uh, attached and uh, you can use your personal number to open a bank account but at the end of the day you won't get all the privileges that the bank may have for a customer so if you have a Swedish ID card you will get all the privileges that the banks have to offer and it's very important people might tell you oh you don't need a Swedish ID card you can just use your personal number to uh, open a bank account listen don't be a fool don't be sorry at the end of the day just get your Swedish ID card and then go and apply for a bank account now is applying for Swedish ID card free no applying for personal number is absolutely free but applying for Swedish ID card is not you need to pay 400 Swedish crowns in order to uh, get a Swedish ID card and you will usually get it within one or two weeks but they will always notify you via SMS and what happens if you lose your Swedish ID card well if you lose then you go to the tax office and reapply it once again uh, I hope that this video was helpful to you all because these are some of the things which are very very important and people must know it and people should know it and I, f in, uh, I was totally unaware of uh, the things regarding personal number and Swedish ID card when I came in and uh, I don't want you guys to fall in the same ditch that I fell into so anyways let's recap first get a sim card second get a travel card third apply for your personal number and once you receive your personal number you apply for your Swedish ID card I hope that this video was helpful uh, it's getting a, it's becoming a very long video so let me cut it short goodbye and if you need any sort of help do comment in the comment section goodbye sayonara peace out Thank you.